Hello, my name is Tony Hillman and I'm the Technology Manager here at uh, Sun Microsystems Executive Briefing Center in Menlo Park, California. So this is where we bring our executive guests from our customers and our partners. We uh, explain to them Sun's vision, Sun's strategy, and we show them some technology demonstrations. So this is the Sun Spark Enterprise T5220 server and it uses Sun Microsystems T2 chip. So this is an example of chip multi-threading. And this radical new design for silicon technology was based on the observation that with a traditionally architected chip, no matter how high its clock speed appears to be, it may only be doing meaningful work for about 20 or 25% of the time. The reason is that it has to wait continuously for new shipments of data and instructions to come from memory, and that's always going to be slower. So, the conclusion was, if we have a pipeline that sometimes we are blocked on, let's have multiple pipelines. And when one is blocked, we'll move on to the next one, and then to the next one, and in that way, keep the real execution facility truly gainfully employed. Now, this gives you much greater throughput. You can shift much more data. This is just the fastest web server on the planet today. Our database servers are similarly going to be benefited. But one of the great things about this technology is that it's very low power. You don't need so high a cycle rate. You're using more efficiently what you have. So the wattage of a chip like this is not really much more than a standard household light bulb for all of that work it's doing. This is just one of the ways in which Sun Microsystems is going to change the way we look at the ecology of the data center through its technology. So this is a model of Sun's uh, project black box, not the full 20-foot version, but hopefully it will give you an idea of what we have here. It's a standard shipping container, and we put various racks of systems inside it. There's an aisle in the center, and you can walk down and physically maintain the machines. But a lot of the time, these doors at the front will be closed, and you'll never need to go into it. One of the great things about this is that we can bring in air, and we can circulate it through the racks of machines placing what we call heat exchangers in between every rack. That me means the same airflow can be used to cool all of the racks, and every time the hot air comes out of the back of one of the racks, it's cooled down again before it goes into the next one. I think we should be able to get perhaps 20% efficiency in the way machines are cooled by using this kind of infrastructure. 4600 is a good one to talk about because this is the kind of box on which people will perform a great deal of virtualization. And one of the things you notice when you look into a box like this, and of course it's a mighty computer, it's got eight separate cards, um, which means today uh, 16 processors and pretty soon it will mean 32. One of the other big components you see is empty space. We want there to be a lot of fresh air in this box. And we have guides that move air brought in by the fans onto the right components. Uh, that means it's going to be a cool running system. We also screen off certain areas, um, like uh, power supplies, disk drives, making sure that the heat they create doesn't adversely affect the running of electronics elsewhere. Very easy to maintain as well. You can pull the fans out and put them back in while the system is running. You don't have to power it down. We believe that this is important because Environments are going to get much bigger in the future, so the individual components themselves have to be highly maintainable. That is going to be one of the keys to a well-managed and, indeed, a green data center. So this is the Sun Storage Tech 8500. It's a gigantic tape robot. You might say, what's special about tape? Why is tape so important? We're going to a world now where increasingly, for example, video is going to be a part of our lives. Um, YouTube, uh, medical imaging, the kind of videos that we're taking routinely now with our own cell phones. All of that data is going to have to be stored somewhere, and much of it, for compliance reasons, may have to be stored forever. We don't believe that disk-full storage technology is necessarily the way you want to do that. Disks are fragile. Their lifespan is relatively short. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the amount of information you can get on a disk is now starting to tail off. They're never going to get much more dense, we feel, than they are today. By contrast, if you want to archive things, keep them around for a long time, possibly for reasons of legal compliance, 
tape is going to be the best way to do it. Nothing in this world is indestructible, but tape comes pretty close. It can recover from a, a lot of natural disasters. You can take it offline. You don't always have to have it plugged in using electrical power. For that reason, we think there's a very big future for tape, and that's why it's so much a part of Sun's portfolio today. So this is a small model of a gigantic project uh, called Constellation that Sun Microsystems is creating at the University of Texas. And it's a gigantic distributed supercomputer, and I've got a couple of the major elements over here. A Sunblade 6048 rack, and it's got 48 Sun Blade systems in it. Each one with four sockets, and four cores per socket. So it's tremendously powerful. There will be a total of 80 of these in the full constellation. But if you want to connect all that processing power together, you're going to need a huge system to do it. So this is the Sun data center switch 3456. It's a 20 gigabit per second InfiniBand switch, and currently it's the biggest one in the world. 3,456 ports that it has in it. And the reason this kind of high performance computing environment is important to us is that we feel that in due course all computer data centers are going to have to be designed to this kind of tolerance. And if we can make this our design center, we can get the administration right, the serviceability right, the performance right, we can start immediately providing the benefits of those designs to our customers. That's really what Sun's up to today. I think if you feel you have an opportunity to virtualize your data center and become more efficient in that way, you shouldn't hesitate, you should call Sun Microsystems Professional Services because we will do an evaluation for you. It, it, it's very simple, the first steps are entirely free, we just sit down with you. We talk to you about what your business is, what you're trying to achieve, what direction you think you should go in. And then we give you the benefit of our insight and our expertise. We start putting our technologies or the technologies of partners at your disposal and help to set you on, uh, indeed, the right track.